Hey everybody, my name's Caleb, and in this video I wanted to talk about port conflicts with XAMPP. So a lot of people keep asking me, because I've used XAMPP, XAMPP in my videos, a lot of people ask me about this problem where it won't let them start Apache. And it will say something such as starting Apache, and then it will be like busy, dot dot dot, and nothing happens. Well, this is usually a problem with the ports. So if you look here, it says port 80, and port 443. Well, port 80, and we'll get into what a port is in a second, basically port 80 is often used by other programs and only one program is going to have access for complete control of port 80. So for example, if, uh, I, have, if I have, here's my um, website here, it's on localhost. Well, I'm communicating to this localhost through port 80. I'll draw you a little picture here to make that clear. So you could say, this is our web browser. This is our local server. We communicate using port 80. So we could say, Google Chrome, for example. And then we have port 80. And then we have XAMPP. So we communicate through port 80. There's a lot of different ports that are used for communications, such as 443 is another one. Well, for web servers, 80 is the main port. Well, to test things on our system, occasionally we'll need to change this port to allow us to run multiple things on at the same time where they would normally conflict. So to do this, we want to open up our, our uh, computer and go to the place where you installed XAMPP. Mine is on my second partition XAMPP. Yours is probably C XAMPP. But we'll just we'll just stick to this one right now. XAMPP. And then from here uh, we go to Apache. And then from here we look for the configuration folder or CONF. And then from here we look for httpd.conf. This is a configuration file. Now, you can double click this and you can select a program from a list of installed programs to open it. You want a text editor such as um, WordPad or anything like that. But I'm going to use Edit with Notepad++ because it's, it's the best. It's pretty legit. Alright, so this is what we get here. Just a bunch of junk. Well, what we need to look for is not too far down. Mine is on line 58. You can see it's using port 80. Well, we can change this to, let's say, 82. And then we can save it by File, Save, and then we can X out of it. Now, we want to stop the Apache and stop, stop the system, and then we, re we restart it, and it should work. If it's not working, that means there's a different problem, and it's not a conflict of port 80. So you can see it's using port 82 right now. So that means when we use a web browser and we and we go to localhost it's not going to work now. You can see it does it doesn't come up with the same thing and see oops Google Chrome could not connect to it and it's not even it's it doesn't know what to do. So in order to connect to the the proper host we put a colon and then an 82 and press enter. Now this is telling to communicate to localhost through port 82. So that colon 82, that whole system right there, is actually, so this whole system of colon 82 is actually always in use, it's just not always visible. For example, normally we just type localhost and we're actually, we actually have localhost local host 80, but that's hidden. So we can, we can use other websites such as google.com Google and communicate it to it via port 80 and then it just is hidden that's just a way to represent the port so if you have a sub by uh, a different file on this server it would be after the 82 so you could be like registration.php or whatever so that is how you would work with your server all right well that's all for this video be sure to subscribe and yeah that's all oh yeah